How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you the game play commentary. Today we have an update video for Halo 5 news. Today's video we're going to talk about a brand new, never before seen playlist coming to Halo 5. Some tweaks to the social playlist, announcement for season 3 2018 start date, and a brand new matchmaking system coming to Halo 5. So if you enjoyed these news update videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this on the channel. If you're brand new to the channel as well, you can always tap subscribe with notifications to let you know whenever we're uploading awesomeness to this channel, which is, let's be real, every time. So first off, let's talk about that brand new game mode coming to Halo 5 here. It's called the Elimination Playlist. This playlist will have Breakout, Breakout 2.0, and Extermination in this ranked playlist. That's right, Extermination, the community created a super competitive, super fun game mode is coming to ranks in Halo 5. I'm really excited about that. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of Breakout, so I'm kind of, I'm slightly bummed that it's being thrown in with Breakout in this playlist, but it should be actually be a pretty good time. Also with the Elimination playlist, especially for Breakout, now they're changing the way the scoring works at the end where the flag, the neutral flag spawns up in the middle of the map. Instead of pushing that flag into the enemy base, you have to grab that neutral flag and bring it back to your base. Which, in my mind, just makes more sense when it comes to capturing a flag. Because it's like you don't try to, you don't do that in regular capture flag. And now for the social game mode update, we have two rotating playlists coming into the uh, game mode, selectable game modes in the social playlist for Halo 5. So now you'll always have two rotating playlists that are permanently located there, but the game modes within every week will be changing for those. So the first one here is gonna be Shoddy Snipers, and then you'll have Triple Team, Castle Wars, Griff Ball, uh, Throwback Anniversary, and another one to be announced later. So this also means that Griff Ball and Action Sack will be removed from the social playlist, which doesn't bother me a whole lot. I didn't really play Griff Ball outside the initial release, and it's one of the least populated game modes in Halo 5. And Action Sack, I feel like it's just kind of gone stale at this point, so I haven't really bothered with it a whole lot either. And so I think it's pretty good to cons try to consolidate the uh, player base here. And they said that basically the reason why they do this is to uh, bring some hype or bring some reason to kind of come back like, oh, this week we have this thing coming around, so it'd be a good chance to play, it ar play around with it a little bit. So I'm excited about that for sure. Now the big changes are coming also to the ranked playlists as well. Uh, for one, it's this is, first of all, this is starting out on May 1st for the updates where they are adding the elimination playlist. Uh, they'll be updating the free for all playlist, uh, but they're also going to be removing team snipers from ranked, which, in my opinion, kind of makes sense because I don't really feel like team snipers is really like a ranked kind of game mode. It's very specific, kind of niche kind of game mode. Uh, so I, I, I was always kind of leaning, I never really played it either. And also that uh, 343 is going to be implementing their brand new matchmaking system called True Skill 2. Now the changes to Free For All is that they're basically bringing back the default game modes of Free For All. It's not going to be strictly your Halo WC playlist anymore. I'm guessing that's probably just because the uh, season's over now for Halo World Championships. Uh, I actually really liked Free For All and I also really hated it at the same time. Um, because I feel like that's more of a matchmaking issue because it was the least populated playlist, so I don't think I was really getting very fair matches. By why I was struggling with it a whole lot, but uh, no, but don't worry though, because the uh, HWC game modes will still be in there for Truth and Regret and the game mode as well. So I, I honestly, I feel like that the free for all for Halo WC was probably the most fair free for all you could possibly come up with. There weren't a whole lot of weapons to pick up. There was one power up. To, you know, to keep control of, and so that getting a lucky spawn wasn't so important, which I feel like is rather important for a free-for-all game mode in Halo to do well. And so that's about it for the free-for-all game mode. We'll see how that plays out. Of course, eliminate, elimination coming in for the ranked playlist. Team Arena is getting an update as well. They said after seeing success with the updated version of Oddball on Eden and Truth, in this playlist, uh, we'll be adding the mode on two other maps, Rig and Plaza. So we get some more Team Ball playing in for Team Arena. Awesome about that. 
Uh, I always love playing team ball. It's a really fun game mode in my opinion. And also a new quitting system has been implemented as well. Well, not necessarily new, but a tweak to it. Uh, Cause you know, we've all had those issues where you're playing say a uh, 4v4 game mode and someone on the team quits because they don't like how the match is playing out. So now you're stuck in a 3v4 situation. Well, that first person who leaves is gonna get a pretty big hit to their CSR rank, but the other three people, if they decide to quit out, will still lose points, but not nearly as much as you would expect for a normal quit, which I think is great. It's really fair, and for the way the system's set up right now, it's probably the best thing they could do, because uh, a lot of times I, I come across these situations where team people quit out of matches, is either one, the player's doing horrible, or two, or a matchup against a full party and there's really no chance of winning so people start backing out. But I think this is probably a decent compromise for right now at the moment. I still think that party matching is still a big issue with Halo at the moment, but uh, I think this is a step in the right direction for sure. And also in this update for the uh, Halo 5 news, that they go in really in depth with True Skill 2. I will make my own separate video about this topic as well because I feel like it's really important for people to understand what this new matchmaking system does. Uh, if you've noticed that the Quick Play playlist or Warzone were quite a bit sweaty than usual in the last uh, month or so, especially Quick Play, that's because they've been utilizing the new True Skill 2 system in those playlists. And so that's why True Quick Play, the Social Slayer playlist, uh, has been feeling like Ranked Slayer without the ranks. And so to summarize everything, we have a nice graphic right here so you can see what the playlists are going to look like moving forward after May 1st. Uh, so we have so Quick Play, Super Fiesta, and then the, both of the rotational game modes for Social. You have Infection and Big Team Battle. I think that's perfect. I think that's perfect for what Halo 5 has to offer right now. And because you, know, you got enough people who just play Infection, Super Fiesta is the most popular game mode in Halo 5 right now. Quick Play is, very is a very necessary part for uh, Halo 5. Big Team Battle, of course, has to be in Halo. And the two rotational ones, I think is a great way to experience some side variations of what Halo 5 has to offer. So the first two ones in this uh, playlist are gonna be Shy Snipers and Team and Triple Team. And then for the ranked playlist, we'll have Slayer, Team Arena, Doubles, SWAT, Elimination, Free For All, and then the HCS playlist. So that's everything about this update, guys. I will leave a link to the update in the description down below if you want to read that. I highly suggest you want to kind of know the greater details about that, especially for skill, true skill two. I wish I will be making my own video about this as well, so you guys can understand it hopefully a little bit better. So can I as well. Uh, if you're new to this channel, you can always tap subscribe. I really would appreciate it because we're always uploading awesomeness to this channel, and that's just a great way to stay up to date with all news and information Halo related. Really, if you're looking forward to these changes or you hate these changes, leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And you want to help try to keep the community up to date with all that information. You know, make sure to tap that like button. It really helps this video get some more eyes on it. And uh, share it around to help out the community. Uh, make sure everyone stays up to date with all the information coming for the Halo community. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Check out the videos on the screen right now. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.